on in the chat thanks okay uh i can't yeah i can't really see any of you or hear you but um my name is don delino i'm the deputy director of the nasa exoplanet science institute and i want to welcome all of you from around the world to the 21st Sagan Summer Workshop. Um, we're going to go through these introduction uh, slides pretty quickly. Um, and to kick us off, I'd like to introduce my boss, um, the executive director of the NASA Exoplanet Science, Science Institute, Chaz Beichman. Go ahead, Chaz. Okay, thank you, Don. Uh, my name is Chaz Beichman, and good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you, wherever you are. As Don mentioned, I'm the executive director of the NASA Exoplanet Science Institute, and I just like to add my welcome to you for the what is the 21st summer workshop on exoplanet science. First, let me express the hope of all of us uh, next time that you and your families have been and will continue to be safe during this challenging time. The remote format imposed by the pandemic has changed the nature of the Sagan workshop. You know, in many ways, I mean, while we've lost the in-person aspect, which is so valuable for building new scientific relationships and collaborations, and importantly, new friendships, this new format has allowed us to reach more than six times as many people um, from all over the world in our typical in-person meeting. So we want to welcome you all, wherever you are, to what I'm sure will be an exciting and informative week. I'd like to just give you a very quick overview of the NASA program and of NEXI and the history of the workshops. Uh, the exoplanet program within NASA is one of three astrophysics themes, and obviously our focus is the discovery of exoplanets, and the program has been, focuses on the technology and the science of enabling spaceborne and as appropriate ground-based observing of exoplanets with the long-term goal of finding habitable planets, Earth analogs, if you will, orbiting nearby stars. And it's an exciting goal that's just become more and more compelling over the last 20 plus years. Next eye is the Science Center for NASA's Exoplanet Program. And it's one of three astrophysics centers under an umbrella of what's called IPAC, which is a joint Caltech campus uh, science center here in Pasadena. And NEXI offers broad and deep support for the exoplanet research community with archives, observing time, workshops, tools, services to enable data sharing, analysis, and training. We have a staff of about 20 scientists, programmers, engineers, and admin. And we operate really on five major pillars. One is the Sagan program and the community support itself. Obviously the workshop is the, uh, the high point of that for us every year, but we also go to AAS meetings, host conferences locally and externally. Um, many of you may have used the Exoplanet Archive, which hosts all the literature-based data for all the 4,000 plus planets um, known by the wide variety of techniques or the ExoFOP, which gathers data from the community on many of those planets. We have long-term archives. Uh, we operate all aspects of NASA's 90 plus nights per year on the Keck telescopes. The next NASA Keck call will be going live in a few weeks. So if you're based at a U.S. institution and are interested in getting exoplanet data from Keck or any other form of um, science data from Keck, which supports all aspects of NASA astrophysics and solar system science, please apply. And then finally, there's an extreme precision radial velocity initiative that uh, is pushing the boundaries of radio velocity techniques, hopefully with the goal of being able to detect Earth analogs orbiting solar type stars. Next slide, please. So we've been doing this workshop that I mentioned for an awfully long time. And we started out as an interferometry center and that was seen as the 
you know, the best approach to finding planets either with astrometry or direct interferometric imaging starting back in 1999. Um, our name was changed to get to the uh, um, a slightly broader scope. We became the Michelson Science Center and operated that way for five or six years, starting to explore more aspects of planet formation, um, starting with transits in 2007. Then in 2009, and since then, we've been the Sagan Summer Workshop, exploring all aspects of exoplanet detection, theory, demographics, and so on. And in 2020, we explored extreme precision radial velocity, our first remote meeting, where the number of registrants jumped from our typical 150 to 200 to over 500. And now this year, um, circumstellar disks and young planets with over 1,200 registrants. So it's an enormously exciting time for exoplanets, for the community, despite it being such a challenging time for all of us worldwide. And I just hope this provides a, an important uh, research opportunity, a chance to network even though we're doing it remotely. And uh, I'll just turn it over to Dawn and her team now who've put together what I think is just an enormously inventive way for doing a workshop um, under these special circumstances. Thank you. Thanks, Chaz. Okay, uh, I'm gonna buzz through these next slides, but know that they, if they're not already, they will be posted online. So if you miss some information that I'm gonna give you, you can go and look online. Uh, so don't, don't sweat it. Um, okay, so as Chaz said, uh, you know, th this workshop, is the next in the series of 20 that we've already had of the Michael Sun and Sagan workshops. And this year we actually have over, <coughs> excuse me, 1300 registrants from institutions in almost 60 countries, which is really amazing. And it's definitely one, one uh, silver lining um, on the pandemic and everything moving to virtual. Um, although we do look forward to hopefully next year having the meeting in person and there will be some sort of hybrid hybrid model that we will put together. So people from around the world can still, can still join. Um, this meeting would not be, um, would not be possible without, uh, without a, a team, a large team of people <laughs> that help us put it together. The science organizing committee with uh, Lisa Prado as chair. She will also be our chair for our first morning session. So we'll introduce her in a, in a few minutes. Um, and then, um, you know, the, the kind of boots on the ground, um, the local organizing committee or the virtual organizing committee, um, the team here at Nexi, most notably Ellen O'Leary and Elise Furlon, um, but with major contributions, of course, from Megan Crane, Virginia Farmas, and Melanie Swain as well. And so I just want to say thank you very much from the get go to those people. As I mentioned, we have over 1,300 registrants from uh, countries around the globe. This is a little map. And again, you can, you can, you can see that we, we hit most areas uh, around the globe and we're really proud of this. So thank you everyone. Okay, uh, we also wanna thank the speakers. Of course, this would not be possible without them. Um, there are videos of pre-recorded talks that the speakers graciously submitted before the workshop so you could you can see their, their full length talks because of the virtual format of this meeting and you know, video con burnout, uh, the meetings are shortened each day. And so uh, we have shorter versions of the talks each day. Sometimes there are um, only panel discussions. So it, you know, where the, the speaker gets to give, you know, excuse me, five or 10 minutes of a summary and then you know, they can answer questions. Uh, so, you know, we really, if you haven't already, I know a lot of you have, but if you haven't already, check out our YouTube channel and um, watch, you know, watch as, as many of the talks as you can or as you're interested in. And there will be a question and answer for all of the talks. Uh, we, of course, have a code of conduct for the Sagan Summer Workshop. Uh, this code of conduct covers everything from the Zoom uh, Q&A, the chat, Slack, gather conversations, um, if basically behave professionally. This is an environment that we want everyone to feel safe and respected in. This, there are a lot of early career 
folks here uh, at this meeting. Um, no question is too basic. No, um, you know, no, no discussion. Um, uh, just there's this whole meeting should be free from harassment of any type. So, um, and if we hear of someone who is violating this code of conduct, we will remove you from the meeting. I have no problem doing that. So just be warned. <laughs> but everybody's going to be going to be professional. Um, so if you happen to experience harassment in any form, or if you see someone else experiencing it, please report it to us. You can send an email to nexi at ipac.caltech.edu, which is seen by me and Ellen O'Leary. Um, you can, or you can send a direct message to any of us in Slack, to Elise, myself, Virginia, or Ellen. Um, you can find us, uh, at least one of us at the help desk during the dedicated poster sessions that we're having in, in Gather. Um, and uh, I also posted these um, on Slack uh, a couple days ago, and there are also um, instructions in the top right corner of the main gather room, which we'll talk about in a minute. Okay, so as many of you have already noticed, um, we can't see you and we can't hear you. Uh, and that is because of the large number of you. And you know, we don't want people continually you know, being unmuted and hearing background noise and whatnot. So this is a Zoom webinar. So um, only the speakers and the hosts of the meeting are able to be seen and heard. Um, and so uh, the way we're going to handle the questions, and we did this last year and it was pretty successful, is you have this Q&A button um, at the bottom of your screen. That is what we're gonna use to ask questions of the speakers. Please don't use the chat. We will try to, to keep track of that, but between Slack and the Q&A and chat and gather, you know, we're only a few people and we need to, to monitor all of it. So um, please use the Q&A button um, and you have the uh, ability to ask your question anonymously if you like. If you happen to see a question that somebody asked that you that resonates with you, that you think, hey, that's a really good question, I wanna know the answer, you can thumb, you know, you can click on the thumbs up button and that will move the question higher in, in the, the priority list. And um, yeah, and just check here. And again, speakers, remember if you know, if you see a question that you can answer, um, please go ahead and answer it. Last year we had hundreds of questions, and we were able to get through most of them um, from the speakers chipping in and, and answering these questions. So okay, and the questions will be your panel chairs will not panel chairs, your session chairs will uh, also reserve a few of these questions to be answered live. Okay, uh, we have a Twitter handle, Sagan2021. Please feel free to, uh, you know, to, to tweet um, unless the information has been, uh, or is said to be embargoed, then don't tweet that, of course. Uh, we also have, we say lunch, because everybody is all over the world. We have lunch and breakfast with the speakers um, on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. It's an informal chat, it'll be a Zoom meeting, so everybody can see each other and hear each other. There'll only be up to 15 attendees with each, um, with each speaker. And um, we do have a few spots still open. So um, in the know before you go email and previous emails to that, uh, there was a link to the sign of genius and see. Uh, so go ahead and check that out. Um, there are five parallel meetings in each time slot because we have a lot of speakers. So do not sign up for two, two speakers in the same time slot because you'll be, you can go to one or the other, <laughs> but not really both. Um, and we ask that, that people don't sign up for more than two to give everyone a chance. All right, posters. So we added a new feature this year. Uh, the, we have Gather Town. So all of the posters are, posters are listed on the Sagan Summer Workshop um, websites. We have little thumbnails and you can click on them and read them. And then we have a poster channel uh, in the Slack workspace. And so you can ask questions there. All, however, we also have some dedicated poster sessions in GatherTown. So again, there was a link in the emails we sent you and you can, um, you can talk to, to people, the poster presenters and gather. Uh, Slack channels, please sign up if you haven't already. And we have a number of, of channels there to help direct the, um, the conversation. Okay. I've run out of time, but I'm going to keep going. So uh, hands-on sessions. 
hands-on sessions are a really big part of the Sagan Summer Workshop. We're kind of that's kind of what sets us apart from other other you know conferences and 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 uh, summer meetings. And uh, the preparation of these they take a lot of work. And so I'd really like to thank Natasha Butala, Mark Marley, Virginie Faramaz, and Elise Farlan for putting these two hands-on sessions together that everyone has the opportunity to participate in this week. We also have a whopping 17 hands-on session helpers. And I know that there have been a few, I think especially um, especially this person right here, <laughs> um, who have really been helping people who have been having uh, problems with, with Python installation and whatnot. Um, so, uh, you know, these are your resources. Thank you very much to the helpers who have already been helping. Um, and we look forward to, uh, to your continued help throughout the week. So thank you very much to them. Um, because these really need more one-on-one -on -one, uh, or small group interactions, uh, we will be sending you um, an email and we'll post it on the Slack channels, uh, a Zoom meeting link before tomorrow when the hands-on sessions actually start. So we're not gonna do it in a Zoom webinar because we can't really communicate very well with you that way. So there will be a separate Zoom meeting that these will take place in. There'll be breakout rooms, so you can um, be in smaller groups and there will be one uh, hands-on session helper in each room. And so that will help you. Um, if you did not, there wasn't actually a pre-registration to participate. We were trying to figure out how to run these. And um, so in order to do that, we needed to know how many people were interested. So we sent out a survey a, a couple months ago if you didn't fill out the survey, that's totally okay. Please join us. Okay, everybody's welcome to participate whether you have zero experience or a lot of experience. Um, and if you if you do want to participate and you haven't done so already, please install either Python or run the Google Colab setup notebooks. Um, all the instructions are on the website because it can take you know a half an hour or, or more to set these up. Um, so you need one or the other. If you're not familiar with Python or comfortable with it, then go with the Google Colab uh, path. And everything is on the website. So please check that out. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna go through that right now. Okay, the virtual gather space. When you click on gather, it will, um, it will put you in one of these entrance tunnels. Follow the arrows, you come out to our main room. Um, we have help desk here. This is where um, one of one of the next site team will be. Um, there are uh, instructions and list of posters on this table. Um, if you want to report misconduct, that's over here in the top right corner. You can check out uh, information about Nexi and the services that we have by, by um, going up to, to these and hitting X. The two poster rooms, the main reason why we have gather in the first place um, are up here. And so you can go into the room and see all of the posters. I believe that's on the next slide. Um, we also have a lounge and music room. So you can go there, you can play a piano and, and dance and do things like that. And then um, for people that wanna work on the hands-on sessions kind of outside of the session, um, the session time, you can go into this room as well. So please check it out. This is um, a few of our team standing in front of our, a poster. The thumbnail is not representative of the poster, but when you walk up to it, you see you see a little preview of the actual poster below. Um, and then there are a few Easter eggs in there, so please uh, look for those. Okay, so we know a lot of you need a certificate of attendance. After the workshop is over, we will have a website set up where you can request a certificate attendance of attendance, and we will send these to you by the end of August. And finally, um, class picture. We always do a class picture when we meet in person, and but we can't do that right now. So what we're asking is, uh, if you if you would like to be part of the Sagan Summer Workshop Class of 21 class picture, um, please submit a headshot of yourself. We have a website set up for this, um, and we can, if it's not posted in Slack already, we can post it there, um, but it's also on, on the website. Uh, so submit a headshot of yourself and um, before August 20th, and we'll post the picture on the workshop website in September. So you can be, and this is, uh, this is what we had for last year when we asked people to do this. So um, I don't think we have time for questions. Um, stick them in the Q&A and I can answer them then because we need to get started with our scientific program. Um, so, okay, with that, 
I would like to introduce our first session chair, 